My Vintage Tools recently sent me a box full of projects. Check them out on Instagram. I chose these pliers to work on first. One side was marked Lodi. Yeah, Chuck, I like that CCR song too. The other side had some patent dates. The 1894 patent was awarded to William Bernard and was assigned to the William Shoalhorn Company of New Haven, Connecticut. The William Shoalhorn Company was incorporated in 1891. Their product line featured pliers designed by William Bernard. I found over 50 patents awarded to him his most famous being the parallel jaw pliers. Here's an example of these pliers. The design of the linkage allows the jaws to stay parallel when opening and closing. These pliers also feature high grip and cutting force. Shoalhorn was acquired by Sargent Tools in 1948. Although the Sargent hand tool line has changed ownership over the years, the Bernard Patton Parallel Jaw Pliers are still sold today. The International Tool Catalog Library is an excellent online resource. The Bernard line was Shoalhorn's premium line of pliers. The Paragon line featured high quality pliers without the parallel jaw feature. The Elm City line covered farmers fencing tools. And way at the back of the 1902 catalog was the lowest priced Lodi line. The catalog reads, a good article for ordinary use. It looks like my pair of pliers was called gas and cutting pliers. The cutters look to be in decent shape. The jaws were a little worn. The pliers were a little rusty, but still very tight. I cleaned it with some simple green to remove any oil and grime. Then I soaked it in Evaporust overnight. I like using the Evaporust on items like this that I'm not going to fully disassemble. The Evaporust will remove rust in areas I wouldn't be able to reach with a wire brush. I use WD-40 to work any remaining corrosion or grime out of the pivot. I didn't get much patina ooze this time. I went over the pliers with the fine wire wheel. The wire wheel did a nice job on them. However, there was a couple spots that would need more work. I used the 220 grit belt on my 1x30 sander to try to blend those spots on the handles. I wasn't satisfied with what I was able to achieve with the belt sander. So I went ahead and did some hand sanding. I also decided to smooth out the jaws, starting with a file and continuing with hand sanding. I used a small file to straighten out the grips in the jaws. I used the fiber wheel to blend in my sanding lines and polish up the handles. At this point, I was satisfied with the finish I had achieved on these Shoalhorn Budget Line Lodi pliers. However, Chuck insisted we get out the flits. So here's what the Lodi gas and cutting pliers look like the day I got them in the mail. I think they cleaned up nicely. The Bernard patented hollow sheet metal handles are very comfortable. The design is also very light. Stamping the pliers from sheet metal must have been simpler and less costly than forging. Let's see how well they work. I'm not sure how gas pliers would have been used, but the jaws seem well suited to bending wire and working on small fasteners.
The cutters are made of hardened steel and cut this coat hanger wire with no problem. Thanks again to My Vintage Tools. I'm sure I'll be working on some of the other items he sent me in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Check out these special use shoalhorn pliers. I picked these up recently at a yard sale. I was able to find them in the same 1902 catalog. They are belt punch pliers for preparing the ends of round leather belting. This type of belting was used as drive belts on machinery. It is still sold today for use on antique sewing machines.